Are you aware of the side effects of the makeup and the cosmetic that you use? This video is in particular for those for whom makeup is a part of their daily regime, their very being. Of course, makeup adds to the beauty, highlights the photography, hides the blemishes, the flaws, and boosts our self-confidence. Yet, there are side effects to the cosmetics that we use. A few alerts. What is the quality of the product that you use? What is its shelf life? Its expiry date? When did you last clean your brushes? Are you using a single brand? Is it multi-brand? Are you the only one using your cosmetic or are you sharing with others? So of course the answer is that you should not use your product beyond the expiry date. You should regularly clean your brushes. Make sure that you're the only person using the cosmetic and not co-sharing with others. Try to have multiple brands. Don't stick to the same product and the same cosmetic each time repeatedly. There are a barrage of diseases I can count because of the side effects of the cosmetics and the makeups that we use. Be the allergy, dermatitis, hyperpigmentation, redness, itching, even premature aging, fine wrinkles, age spots, darkening of the skin, darkening of the lips, dryness of the eyes, conjunctivitis, staphylococcal infection, bacterial infections, fungal infections, to name a few and of course there is acne with its white comedones, black comedones and even acne cosmetica. So what do you do to prevent this? Do you know that the very brushes that we use, if we use them roughly, they cause friction and that causes hyperpigmentation, darkening of the skin and when the sun rays fall on it, it further exacerbates it. If we are using lipstick, it can cause dryness of the lips, even darkness. If you are using a mascara, it can cause a break in the tear film and dryness of the eyes. If you are using a kajal or a kohal pencil, make sure that it is clean and it is not causing redness of the eye or a staphylococcal infection. Your brushes ought to be clean, so should your pads and mops be, because it can have a lot of germs, fungal and bacterial infection and cause a flare on your face. Especially the youngsters should be very careful when they use cosmetics because the hormones, the diet and the germs all have an interplay and it can flare the acne. Make sure that even the bindi that you use, its glue is not old and it does not cause hyperpigmentation or an allergic contact dermatitis. Your base should not be very thick. If you have an oily skin, you should use gel based or water based products. If you have a dry skin, you should use oil based products. If you don't do that, it can cause acne in an oily skin and it can cause dryness in a dry skin. Of course, there is a huge risk of an allergic reaction. These days, the products are animal tested and not human tested. So what do you do? Each time you buy a product, don't be in a hurry. Do a patch test. Do that on your forearm. Make a circle around the product that you have put on and wait for 24 hours to observe whether it is causing any redness, itching, blisters. Even a hair color has to undergo a patch test. The modern makeup has a long shelf life and is full of chemicals. It has inorganic metals and heavy metals, be it be arsenic, cadmium, mercury, lead, nickel, and so on and so forth. Even coal tar and formaldehyde is included in quite a few of the products. Long term application of even a product like Sindoor, which has lead and mercury in it, can cause toxicity slow poisoning in your body. Beware! Cosmetics do not cause skin cancer, but products like Coltar formaldehyde have been associated with skin cancer. The glitter in our eyeshadows or in our lipsticks or in our face powders or blush on is mica. That is also a chemical which can cause hyperpigmentation. So what's the solution? The solution is simple, have a balanced diet, plenty of water, make sure you sleep well, do not ever sleep with your makeup on. The makeup on only adds to dead and dull skin and premature aging. Make it a three point regime to always remove the makeup and then cleanse, tone and moisturize. 
Do not apply thick makeup. Make sure that there is a primer or a moisturizer below your foundation base. True beauty lies inside of us, our character, and the beauty outside is a God's gift. You have all the right to further beautify it. Enjoy makeup, enjoy cosmetics, but make sure that you are following the right regime. Stay away from the side effects of makeup. Stay beautiful, stay young, enjoy. This is Dr. Pooja Devan here in this channel, in this episode with you. If you like this video, you can subscribe to this channel, put in a like, put in a comment and share with others. Thank you.